TinyBird is a managed serverless ClickHouse database for software developers. ClickHouse is one of the fastest and most popular open source analytics databases in the world. It is capable of serving sub-second responses to complex analytics queries on petabytes of data. But ClickHouse is also quite challenging to operate at scale. TinyBird provides infrastructure and tooling so that any developer can leverage the power of ClickHouse without worrying about cluster management, scaling infrastructure, or database DevOps. It provides data ingestion infrastructure so you can stream thousands of events per second with just an HTTP request. It provides a managed API layer so you can publish your SQL queries as low latency, scalable, parameterized REST APIs. And it provides all of the tooling you need to develop locally, deploy to the cloud, and iterate painlessly in production. Of course, the best way to understand what TinyBird can do is by building something. So here's how to build your first real-time analytics API with TinyBird in just a few minutes. Install the TinyBird CLI and authenticate. Now, TinyBird CLI is the primary user interface for local development. You'll use it to create resources, interact with them, deploy them, and iterate them in production. Start TinyBird local in a Docker runtime, and you'll have a fully functional TinyBird instance running on your machine. Create your first data source. You can define a data source file from scratch or allow TinyBird to infer your schema from a sample data file, a remote URL, or a prompt. Data sources define how your data gets ingested and stored in TinyBird. Next, create a pipe. You can manually build a pipe file or use a prompt. Pipes are SQL transformations. You can break them up into multiple nodes, add query parameters and API logic using a templating language, and publish them as materializations, copies, syncs, or API endpoints. Once you've created your resources and tested them locally, you can deploy the project to TinyBird Cloud. Your resources will be deployed to your selected region and secured via auth tokens. Save your TinyBird region host and tokens as environment variables. Then you can send events to TinyBird with an HTTP POST request using the Events API, a lightweight streaming endpoint that accepts JSON data at up to 1,000 requests per second. Finally, you can query your data in TinyBird using the named API endpoint for your pipe, providing any query parameters and your desired data format. That's it. You've just built a real-time analytics API and integrated it into your application backend. Of course, there's so much more that you can do with TinyBird. You can capture event streams from any Kafka-compatible streaming platform with a Kafka connector. You can ingest files from object storage with the S3 and GCS connectors. You can replicate tables from Postgres, MySQL, or Iceberg using table functions. You can optimize your data pipelines with materialized views. You can connect BI tools like Metabase, Superset, Tableau, or Power BI with the ClickHouse interface. You can capture open telemetry logs, traces, and metrics and visualize them in Grafana. You can connect LLMs to your data and APIs with the hosted MCP server and so much more. TinyBird isn't just a hosted ClickHouse database. It allows you to skip the ClickHouse infra work, ship your first analytics API in a day, and scale to billions of rows in production. To learn more about TinyBird, dive into the documentation, read our blog, or subscribe to our engineering newsletter. If you get stuck, you can always find help in our active Slack community.